Welcome back and welcome to those of you who are new to the Freedom Income channel. So in this video, uh, we are continuing with our IBKR series, the Interactive Broker series. And this video is going to be teaching you how to set a trailing stop loss um, or a tr yeah, a trailing stop loss or a trailing tick profit becomes later once it stock gets into profit. Um, so if you are unsure of how to trade stocks in general and then watch my previous video, which I showed you the first uh, of the series shows you. Uh, in detail how you can buy and sell stocks and also there's another video which shows you how to set stop loss and take profits so this video in particular is going to show you how to set a trailing stop loss or take profit if you like um using the ibkr tws system um so let's just get right to it um so again i just want to stress this if you're based in the united kingdom Interactive Brokers is a great platform to trade options and penny stocks, etc. with, uh, or even for day trading if you do that. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do it, it's a great platform to do it with, uh, to trade with. Um, and um, so let's get on with it. So to set a trailing stop loss, right, what you do is, um, let's say, let's say Apple stock, right? First of all, let's, let's buy some Apple first before you can set it, right? So let's just buy five stocks of Apple, let's say, right? Limit order. Uh, and just make sure, uh, if, you're, if you're day trading, just to make sure that there's a pattern day trader rule, which is a PDT rule, uh, which basically says, if you have less than $25,000 trading account, you cannot day trade more than three stocks or three instruments per day. Uh, you can do three absolutely maximum. After that, you will not be able to buy or close any positions. So just be careful with that. And, um, you know, if you have less than 25K, you can only do two or three, uh, th basically three maximum day trades in a day. Um, but if you have more than $25,000, then you can day trade as much as possible. So that's just a caveat for you guys. Um, <clears throat> so let's first of all buy Apple limit price, right? This right now is pre-market, right? This is before market open. So the only way, uh, so there's two ba basically two order types. There's market order and there's <coughs> limit order market order fills you faster during market open hours limit order fills you at a price that you want you specify so i would usually use limit orders and especially because right now it's pre-market open before mark pre-market hours you kind of have to use limit orders for it to fill and um, <coughs> so what you do is choose gtc and choose fill outside uh outside rth which will fill you pre-market or after market uh let's say you're Let's just put one for two to make sure we can buy the stock right now. So first of all, you have to own the stock before you can set a trailing stop loss. Okay, so there we go. That's our order filled. We just bought Apple at one four one twenty four. Five stocks of it, five shares of it. So let's say you we just bought the Apple stock now, right? And you want to trail it. Let's say let's say you don't like once you know. Let's say the the, the stock goes up, but you don't want to take profit. Uh, uh, you want to ride the profit. Uh, and you want a stop loss at the same time, you know, <laughs> sort of thing. What you want to do, right, is this is what you do. <laughs> you click Apple, right? So basically, you right click. Let's say Apple's not here already. Then you click on sell here. It will bring it up. And then you click on make sure it's on sell. You have five positions. So if you want to sell, <laughs> set a trailing stop loss for all five positions, what you do is do that. Uh, five for all of those positions, right? <laughs> and then you click on the arrow here and then you click on trail right trail <laughs> and if you if you want a stop price basically that's the price that the trailing triggers right so right now the price is like of apple is like 14150 let's just say okay let's say you don't want to trail it until it hits 150 then you do 150 and then it will start trailing from there but if you leave this blank it'll start trailing from the existing price the current price Okay, <clears throat> or the price when you open the order. Um, so there's two types of trails. One is ATM, which is a precise amount, let's say $5. That means the trigger or your stop loss will hit once it drops $5 below the trigger price. So let's say this price drops now down to uh, 136 then you're basically hitting your stop loss, right? Your order will be closed, right? Because you, if let's say you're buying at one for one, you're trailing it at this current price for by five. By the time this gets to one three six, which is five dollars less, then you're is essentially a stop loss. But what happens is that this will move up, and um, so once this moves to one fifty, then 
and then it drops down to 145, then your stop loss will hit because there's a trailing stop loss, okay? And um, just make sure to turn this to GTC, though. I always turn it to GTC, right? Trail it. Um, or if you want to set this, let's say you don't want it to trail into 150, right? That means at one, right, let me just go over here and maybe explain it a bit clearer here. So let's just say Apple, you're buying it, let's say for 140, right and then you set that stp price at 145 which means it'll start trailing at 145 and then the trail amount is five dollars right so that's just an example here right just to help you guys understand so 140 you, if you set a stop price at 145 and trail it by five that means once the apple price rises to 145 it will start trailing this right and once it gets goes to 145, this triggers. And if Apple stock falls to 140, your stocks will sell, close out. Okay. Now, if, however, uh, the price goes up to 160, right? And then it drops to 155 because your trail amount is $5, then the stock will sell okay because it'll trail up with it okay even if it goes up if it, if it doesn't let's say it goes to 160 and drops to 158 and then goes keep going up this will not trigger it will not sell because only sell if it's five down right so so once it gets up to one let's say it goes to 180 and then drops to 175 then your stock will sell okay so that's the that's essentially how um trailing works Okay, or you can trail, uh, or if you don't put a stop here, then it starts trailing at the price that you're, you're at the at the at the time that you uh, open the order, right? So if you trail by five and you don't put anything there, and then you submit, then it will start trailing from one four one thirty or whatever the price is at this moment in time. Um, <clears throat> so once it gets down to one three six, it will sell. But if it goes up and then it goes down by five, then it will sell. Okay, now that's like a specific amount, or you can put a percentage there. You can trail it by a percentage, and let's say you want to trail it by 10%, you put click 10, so that's 10%. So what that essentially means is that it is, it is no longer trailing by a specific amount. It is now trailing by a specific percentage. So again, if you put nothing there, then the stop loss will be 10% below the price that you trigger, the, that you trigger this order at. Um, so, and then as this price goes up, it will keep trailing by 10%. And, a, and when the stock falls by 10%, that's when your order will close and it will keep trailing it. Even this goes up to $200 and then it starts, let's say it just keeps going up and it doesn't drop until like $180, $180, then it drops 10%. Then you will then be kicked out of your position uh, at 10% below that price. Uh, <laughs> so the advantage of using a trailing stop loss instead of a normal stop loss it's really just to just to protect your position uh, you kind of have a stop loss at the same time as a take profit uh, because let's say the stock climbs and keeps climbing let's say here for example it keeps climbing like that you don't want to miss out all this ride by taking profit a specific amount you want to trail it so that you trail it by 10 percent and you might you know depending on how much you trail it by you know, you might not have been taken out until here, for example. So you catch all of that profit. So that is essentially why you want to be using a, a trailing stop loss, which becomes a take profit, because you're protecting your position. You, you, you're trying, you're protecting your position from with a stop loss. At the same time, you're trying to catch as much of that profit taking or that up movement of the stock as possible. So that is why you want to be using a trailing stop loss. Um, <coughs> So, you know, let's say, like, I think we, we, we hold stock, we hold Apple stock anyway. So let's say I want to trail it by 10% from the current uh, price. Then I just click submit, override, done. So that's it done, right? <laughs> so that's now me. We've just put uh, a trailing uh, stop loss take profit order for, for Apple at the current price and it will trail it by 10%. So as the stock goes up, this trail will move up with it and it will always close once it drops 10% from that price. Uh, from from whatever price that's gone up by so i hope that makes sense it, you know is a useful uh, is a very useful type of order to place with your trading because you can actually catch 
a decent percentage of the take profit without keeping an eye on that on that trade if you know what i mean so anyway i'm going to cancel this and i'm going to close off this because i you know i don't particularly uh, i know it's a demo account but I, I still don't particularly want to be uh holding this stock at this moment in time so i'll just make sure to close it um there we go um so that should sell any minute that's it filled already so i don't we don't hold that point anymore so i hope that makes sense and that's so that's how you essentially <coughs> Uh, protect your uh, protect your orders or protect your trade with a stop loss which also acts as a tick profit um hope you guys found value uh subscribe to the channel if you want further contents like this you know reach out to me in the comment section what kind of videos you guys like to see and happy trading